weeks since two Bristol police officers were killed in the line of duty. Lieutenant Dustin DeMonte and Sergeant Alex Hamsey were responding to what they thought was a domestic violence call. Yeah, but when they arrived, instead, they were ambushed. Now, support continues to pour in for their families as well as the department. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon is live right outside of Bristol Police Headquarters this morning. Dylan, we'll be hearing from city officials later today, right? Right, Kaylin, around 11 o'clock this morning, we'll hear from Bristol's police chief. And Mayor Knight was talking to Mayor Jeff Caggiano at the funeral last week. I said, how does this community move forward from this? He said, I don't really know. It's going to be a few tough weeks. We'll have to sit and think about this for a couple of days and we'll let the public know. And it seems that's what's going to be happening today at 11 o'clock at the police department, how this community moves forward, some new fundraising efforts, what happens next in the healing process. We know a local organization called Lights at Rosewood has been raising money for the three families, which includes Alec Irato's family. He survived in the ambush so far, $17,000 raised from that. There are also hoodies on sale online right now. That money also going to the three families. They sacrificed their lives for us. The least that we could do is to remember them, to always keep their families, you know, close to our heart. We're doing as much as we can to keep their names alive and, uh, you know, keep, keep it out there and just keep uh, our Bristol community tight and, and just little town just keep getting tighter each day. Now the link uh, to buy some of those hoodies online can be found right now on the Channel 3 app. Again, press conference here at 11 o'clock. Bristol's police chief, Bristol's mayor, giving us an update on things. The one thing they won't update us on is the investigation that is being handled by state police. We're live in Bristol this morning. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.